applications are pouring in for Minnesotans who need help paying their heating bills. First snowflakes of the season yesterday, and we're not done yet. Another round of snow tomorrow morning, just a coating for the commute. And then a big, big change in temperature. I've got it in your weather first forecast. And running out of options, how rural hospitals are scrambling to help the influx of ICU patients. This is Fox 9 News at 10. At this hour, the state patrol investigating a fatal crash on East 94. This is near Snelling Avenue, and this is a live look. All we know right now is officials say that the westbound lanes will remain closed for an extended period of time. And we are working to find out more information on that crash. We'll bring it to you. And also be sure to stay with Fox 9 for the latest developments online. And thank you for joining us here at 10 o'clock. I'm Amy Hawkers. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. We got our first real taste of winter over the weekend, but it didn't last long on the ground there. Chief Meteorologist Ian Leonard joining us now. And so in much of the snow that we got yesterday now melted, but there's a chance for some more light snow into the morning. Yeah, you know, that's this time of year. Mother Nature gently reminding some of us that it is in fact November and there's some plans to be made for Thanksgiving and beyond. Snowfall officially at the airport just over an inch. Anoka an inch and a half. Coon Rapids over two inches. North Branch over three inches. Mora over five. And yes, it has mainly melted in temperatures that were just slightly above the freezing mark today. But as we look into the morning tomorrow, and I don't want anybody to push the big red button and say, oh no, but look